Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. So let's continue with our discussion on the RTP December 2021 for CA Intermediate. And we are on to question number 9 that is on process costing. Now as I have been discussing in the lectures of process costing also that in the examination there are 95% chances that you will get a question on the WIP. Right, that is statement of equivalent production, statement of cost uh, per equivalent unit, uh, then valuation of FG WIP using the FIFO average method. Anybody, uh, anything it can be. Ninety-five percent chances are that you will be get, getting a question from this part, and five percent chances are you will be getting a question on preparation of process accounts. Right. Now, what institute has given this question? This is one of the simplest questions you can get. Right. Why I am saying it is one of the simplest questions you will get to know during the discussion. One of the simplest questions on statement of equivalent production you can say. Right. But this doesn't mean that in the examination also you will get this simple a question. Right. You can get a twisted question. You can get a question for, uh, with more number of uh, adjustments, treatments, uh, whatever you can say. Right. So you have to be ready for everything. Be ready for the toughest question. But at the same time, be ready for the simplest question. Now what happens is, why I am sharing these few things? Because very important sir, this might, uh, some of uh, the people might feel that these are useless things, but these are very important things. I will share my experience with you. When I was doing CA, in the CA final uh, SFM paper, strategic financial management paper, uh, we used to think that it was a very tough paper, very tough, very tough, very tough paper. And what we used to do is we used to do the toughest of sums from SFM, uh, the toughest of sums like this derivatives and all those things. In the examination, when I appeared in the examination, the paper was one of the simplest papers. It was the basic concepts paper, one of the simplest papers of SFM. And the approach I followed because I followed one of the teachers whom I didn't know, but he was so good at conceptual clarity. He was one of the best teachers. I won't name him, right? Uh, he was one of the best teachers for conceptual clarity, sir. He, uh, the teacher was from South India, I can say. One of the best teachers for conceptual clarity. And I was so clear with my concepts that I was able to score exemption in SFM. Without any issue, I was able to attempt the paper. But when I talked to my friends, they say uh, they said the paper was very tough. I said the paper was not tough. The paper was only conceptual. It was very basic conceptual paper. The mistake here was that they were doing questions of the very high level and they couldn't attempt the paper which was very simple. That is also a problem. So you should be ready for everything for the simplest question also and for the difficult question also and the mistakes you can commit in any of the question, right? Why I am focusing on this thing? Why I spend two minutes on this? To share my experience with you people. That is so, so that you are preparing for everything. Do not only go for the difficult questions. Do not only look for the difficult questions. Practice even the easy questions because you can commit mistakes in one of the simplest questions also. Right? Okay. So let's start with this question on process costing. Following information is available regarding the process one of a manufacturing company for the month of February. Production record says units in process as on 1st of February 8000 that is this is the opening WIP that is given to you. Right. All material used that is material cost has been incurred. This is the degree of completion given to you degree of completion given to you that material is 100% and labor and overheads that is conversion cost one fourth complete that is 25% of the degree of completion for labor and overheads in the previous period. New units introduced 32,000 units completed 28,000 units in process 12,000 that is this is your closing WIP. All material used now this is the degree of completion given for closing WIP all material used but on labor and overheads only one third of the completion is done right rest of it is left cost records work in process as on this is the cost incurred on uh, opening WIP cost on opening WIP 
right material labor overhead total cost is given to you cost during the month during this period the cost incurred material labor and overheads now he says presuming that average method of inventory is used prepare the following statement of equivalent production statement showing the cost for each element statement of apportionment of cost and the process account for the process one right so these all things are required this uh, if it comes in the examination it will come for a 10 marks question because they have asked for everything in this right statement of equivalent production statement of cost per equivalent unit then valuation then the process account so it will come for a 10 marks right it will not come for less than 10 marks this is a full fledged 10 marks question but the beauty of this question sir in this question there is no normal loss there is no abnormal loss no abnormal gain no scrap value nothing so it is a very very straightforward question it is a very straightforward question another thing in this question they have they have specifically mentioned that you have to follow the weighted average method that is average method means the weighted average method in this case right there is no simple average method so average method means the weighted average method in this question they have specified sir if the question is silent as to the method in the examination then if the question is silent as to method of uh, this uh, method to be followed whether fifo or uh, weighted average then what we can do sir in that case in this particular question you can apply the fifo method also sir why are you saying that in this type of question you can apply fifo in which type of question you cannot apply fifo sir if if the question is silent then look for one thing that whether this degree of completion for opening wip is given or not if it is not given then you cannot apply the fifo method then you have to apply the weighted average method right because in this question the degree of completion of opening wip is given to you that is why you can apply the fifo method also in this question but there was a question in the recent examinations where the question was silent as to which method is to be followed and in that question this degree of completion for opening wip was not given right so in that case avoid using the fifo method sir if we want to use the fifo method then the only thing that you can assume is what you can assume 100 percent for material and 50 percent for labor and overheads right otherwise if the question is silent and the degree of completion is not given to you use the average method avoid using fifo method in case you want to use the fifo method use 150 50 right 100 for material 50 for labor and 50 for overheads that is 100 percent of material has been used in the previous period 50 percent labor and 50 percent overheads clear and give a note at the bottom right use it only in the extreme circumstances sir do not use it my advice is use the weighted average method if the question is silent use the weighted average method if degree of completion is given then you can use the fifo method also right this is an important thing uh, because there was a question in the recent examination and some of the people attempted by the fifo method i think uh, it was uh, crossed by the institute because i received some of the copies later on where the institute has not given the marks for fifo method right because it was clearly written that degree of completion is not given although you can assume it 150 50 that is why i am saying that do not use the fifa method is if degree of completion of opening wip is not given okay so let's start with this this uh, here the opening units is 8000 new introduces 32000 so total input is of 40000 units out of 40000 12000 is fg and uh, sorry 28000 is fg and 12000 is my closing wip right and the degree of completion is given for all so very simple sir input units 8000 introduced 32000 completed and transferred 28000 closing wip 12000 right on completed and transferred will take 100% any doubts including the opening part total 28000 units have been processed on which 100% of material and 100% of labor cost has been incurred whether it was incurred in the last period or whether it is incurred in the current period very simple so equivalent units on closing wip he says 100% of material has been incurred and only one third of the labor and overheads that is on equivalent 4000 units 
labor and overheads have been incurred so from here you will calculate the equivalent units for material and labor any doubts sir this is one of the simplest questions why i told you that it is simplest sir there is no normal loss no abnormal loss no abnormal gain no scrap treatment nothing at all simple fg and closing wip any doubts clear now the second step is preparation of statement showing the cost for each element right for material labor and overhead what i'm doing is the cost of opening work in progress and the cost incurred during the month we take the total of that because we have combined the units also right in the weighted average method what we do we say quantity multiplied by rate right plus quantity multiplied by rate divided by total quantity right so if we are taking the total quantity here that means we are taking the total cost here so that is what we are going to take we are going to take the total cost that is cost incurred in the previous period also that is related to the opening wip 120000 and in the current period this is being incurred total cost equivalent units you have calculated 40000 and 32000 so you will take here right and the cost per equivalent unit can be calculated easily so 35.8 is the total cost now the value of units completed 28000 units on which total 35.8 rupees per unit has been incurred so this is my completed unit cost and wip material 12000 units labor 4000 and overheads 4000 units you will take the cost separately 15.8 10 and 10 very simple sir very basic question right after that simply sir process account opening wip 8 lakh uh, sorry 8000 1 lakh 60000 given to you materials uh, incurred sorry this is typing error material in this is for the material incurred this is for labor and this is for overheads right material incurred the fresh material introduced during this period 32000 and 5 lakh 12000 labor 3 lakh overhead 3 lakh completed units completed units 28000 value we have calculated closing wip 12000 and 2 lakh 69600 value we have calculated here any doubts no sir there was nothing in this question absolutely nothing right that is why i told you at the very beginning i told you that story at the very beginning that you should be prepared for the easy questions also in the examination do not keep a single mindset that it will be a very tough paper i don't know why people say that ca is a very tough paper no sir it is not a tough paper it is a conceptual paper right what institute want is that you should be a conceptual professionals as a professional your concept should be clear not that you should rectify and uh, uh, do the examination right people say that sir concepts doesn't matter costing is a practical subject we'll do thousands of question you can do thousands of question no issues but if your concepts are weak you will not be able to attempt even a single question in the examination right because ici is definitely going to test you on the concepts and that is why in my lectures I always focus on concepts. I always say that concepts should be given the first priority rather than the practicals. If your concepts are clear, you can do any practical sum. Right? That's fine. You can face the difficulties, but even then you will be able to attempt something out of it and it is a step marking in the examination. Right? So very important to know these small things from the examination point of view. So we are done with question number 9 that is on process costing and in the next lecture we'll take up question number 10 that is on joint and by product a very good question on joint and product that has been put up by the ICI in this RTP. Very good question. Right? So see you guys in the next lecture. Till then stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much.